Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and again, we're at Universal, big surprise. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff, some evil new stuff that has opened at Universal Studios Florida in the last couple weeks since I've been here. And I really wanna show off a lot of the new stuff that's going on in the park. Uh, there's some new merch shops, there's some updates on construction. Without further ado, let's waste no more time and head into the park and check out all the new things going on at Universal. Last time I mentioned not too many updates with VillainCon, but as you can see now, some of the walls are down and some of the facade posters are up. We have, of course, Scarlet Overkill, Vector, El Macho, and Balthazar Bratz. I really like this new addition. I think it's really fun. This used to be where the uh, queue for Shrek was, so it's exciting to see them doing something new with it. But it's not just these that are open as the new Evil Stuff gift shop is actually open and... Uh, I want to check out the new merch because I'm really excited for the merch for VillainCon and from what I've seen online, it looks pretty cool. And if that store wasn't good enough, we actually got a new illumination sign on the illumination sort of theater meet and greet situation and some uh, more accoutrement to make my day, uh, which is really great. This is pretty similar to how it looked when I last showed it, um, but all these facades look pretty much done on this side of Menu's Cafe. And over here, we got some more additions to the Freeze Ray Pop sign, a mobile pickup order. I'm not sure if that was in the last video, but the big thing is the new Bank of Evil sign. That facade looks pretty good and pretty close to complete. And as you can see, there's a construction worker over there painting some minions on that wall, which is really, really cool to see in action. And as we get up here, we can actually see that the uh, this whole entrance area has actually gone a lot of progress. Uh, the whole top facades have been painted. I know I said those were pretty close to coming along, uh, and I was correct. Um, we see some yellow paint going on that Minions Cafe sort of uh, marquee section. We still don't have the big official sign yet, um, but I'm sure that's coming very, very soon once they paint this. And yeah, overall, this looks really, really good. I said July uh, for the Minions Cafe. Uh, that could be correct. And Evil Stuff isn't the only new shop to appear at Universal Studios Florida. We have a redone Betty Boop Hello Kitty store and including new Universe merch. Uh, they had this stuff over in Universal Studios Hollywood. They just brought it to Orlando recently and now we have a full store for it. So I want to hop in and show you some of the really, really cool new merch.
Hey everybody, so as you can tell, I'm not at Universal, I'm back in my room. It's been a while since I've done this little setup, but I wanted to give my thoughts on some of the things I covered today, specifically the new stores, and give a little more context to some of the big park updates that have been going on um, that I didn't really have time to showcase in the video. So first, evil stuff. Evil stuff rocks. This store is so great. The theming and the vibe is correct and really makes me excited for this new attraction. It's a Minions gift shop. They make it known that there are some Minions in there, some really cool uh, like display statues of some of the Minions in the villain costumes above some of the merchandise. Um, but this isn't an overly Minion store. Uh, that's more for super silly stuff across the street. This obviously focuses more on the villains themselves as I'm sure they're going to be big in in the new attraction villain called Minion Blast. I love how they play the Minions Rise of Gru soundtrack in here. It's so weird to be able to listen to Kaliuchi's, uh, you know, Thundercat, Way's Blood in a theme park gift shop, but I think that's really cool. And the merchandise is really cool as well. I, I was hoping for some cool villain con merch using that new logo. I'm, I'm, I was pretty sure they were gonna do it, um, but they really blew me away with just the amount of merch they have and all the different types of merch they had. Like they have a whole like Vicious Six collection they have a whole Minions cosplay themed collection. Uh, they have the black and yellow Villain Con logo. They have the orange Villain Con logo. They have a whole collection around the purple Minions. And so evil stuff is definitely a win for Universal. And moving on over to the other new merchandise location, the Universe Store up at the front of the park. If you couldn't tell already, this isn't your typical theme park merch. Uh, very little of this merch actually says like Universal Studios on it. Uh, they're very artistic and creative designs. You have your classics, your Jaws your ETs, your Back to the Futures, your Jurassic Parks. But you also have Richie Rich and Casper and Breakfast Club. And there's also art featuring the big Lebowski, Jordan Peele's Us, Chucky. So I'm really excited for the possibilities of this new merchandise to get some different Universal IPs involved in this really new trendy designs. I saw Jordan Peele's Us. I would love a Jordan Peele collection uh, with Us, with Nope. Some really cool designs based off those movies. I love those films. This is really catering to a unique uh, demographic for Universal, uh, a new, sort of new uh, burgeoning demographic for Universal that I think is only going to grow in the coming years, especially once Epic Universe opens. And now to move from some merchandise updates to some construction updates. I did talk a lot about the new construction going on at Minions Cafe. It looks really, really great. Uh, they're adding new stuff every single day. They've probably added stuff since I've been there. Also in the back of the park, we do have an update on Kids Zone. Construction seems to be starting for a supposed Shrek swamp area just outside of ET. You know, they did wall off ET. Some of that construction is visible from the ETQ. I did shoot this little video of what I could see um, while I was in the line for ET. And I think I'm gonna be going into ET, even though I already go there once. I go to the park anyway, but going in there looking for construction updates from what you can see from the ground. Although another curious thing as it relates to Halloween Horror Nights has happened in the ETQ. It looks like this opening is here um, just off to the side, and this looks like where you normally would come out of the parade buildings. Now, we were all wondering what would happen with the parade buildings at Halloween Horror Nights this year just due to the nature of Kid Zone and the construction that's going on there. I, I could be wrong, but this looks new to me. Like I said, I try to go on it every time I go. I usually go to the parks once a week or so and I haven't seen this before, um, so maybe I'm going crazy, or maybe this is a clue as to how the parade buildings are gonna work this year, or maybe we're only getting one, um, using the ETQ as the queue uh, for the parade building this year, or maybe using that as one entrance to one parade building and then rerouting it through Simpsons uh, for the other one. Anyways, I just wanted to do a quick little wrap up at the end of this video. Let me know if you like this style of park updates, doing updates you know, from here, shooting a little bit of B-roll out of the parks, or do you like the vlog style um, better? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like universal news, updates, history, deep dives, anything like that, Halloween Horror Nights stuff too, once we get some announcements, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you all for watching this one. I really, really do appreciate it. We're so close to hitting a thousand subscribers, uh, so I'm really excited to have some big thing planned for that milestone. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching this video once again, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.